Hey everyone, how's it going? Are you looking for an Apple iPhone 12 and you don't want to pay for it? Well, I can show you how you can get this for free. So currently, there's some deals going on with the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro. If you go to Apple website, they quickly show this comparison. When you click on shop, on the top, there's three carriers, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. They all look to have a good deal going on, but AT&T stands out the most with zero per month. What does that mean? That means you're getting this phone for free. And the caveat here is you will have to pay just the, the tax on the phone, which can range between 80 to $90. And then your phone is yours. You just have to trade in an old phone. So whether you have a old iPhone or Android phone, you can trade that in for bill credits. You just have to stay with AT&T for 30 months. Okay. So Apple will state that, you know, you should order through their website and then you go through the, the carrier to trade in your phone. But that's too much confusion because you will end up having to pay upfront the tax if you order through Apple here versus it's going to be a bill charged later on with a carrier. And I highly recommend AT&T because they're offering this for free. T-Mobile is part of the last choice and with their poor reception nowadays with the a combination of Sprint, I would steer away from them. Verizon is also another good choice with good, um, good 5G coverage, but their deal is not that great. You're, you're basically paying about uh, $400, uh, $400 or so, or $500 for the phone versus getting it through AT&T for free. And if you order through apple.com, um, let's say you do a trade-in, choose green, and choose AT&T, it gets a little confusing here because they ask you, you have a smartphone to trade in. So if you click yes, and you select your model, they only offer between you know, iPhone 8 is the minimum requirement for AT&T to get that full uh, credit for the iPhone 12, 64 gig, $140 through Apple, and up to $500 for the iPhone 11 Pro Max if you trade that in. So it just doesn't make any sense here because if you choose no, you still will have to go through AT&T website um, and then get that, that credit back. It's just too confusing. So I would recommend going to att.com directly. It's AT&T. Not sure why it's leading me to another website. There you go. And then click on wireless. And then you can select your new phone. So this is available for new or existing customer. And I want to point out there's no activation fee for pre-ordering this iPhone 12 and being a new customer. So you choose new customer and it's great that they're offering to existing customer too. Um, and then select, so this is the pro version. Let me go back to select the non-pro um, and show you that that is free. So let's choose the green color, 64 gig for the purpose. I would highly recommend getting 128. It's only $50 extra, but for the purpose of this video, just to show you that's free, choose 64 gig installment. Um, so this is what they're going to credit you, 2667. It adds up to about $800. And by default, it always state no trade-in. So you want to select trade-in and then select your phone. Again, it has options for Apple, Samsung, LG, Google, um, Azus, uh, Huawei, Motorola, OnePlus. So select the phone that you have for, for the purpose of being an iPhone owner. I have an iPhone 8 and this is the minimum. If you choose anything lower, you won't get the phone for free. So you want to choose iPhone 8 and up. To trade in so if you don't have a phone to trade in 
you can always purchase one um, from someone that's unlocked and trade that in and you still get $800 back. Just don't pay $800 for an iPhone 8. And then you select trade in and now it's free. So you get this monthly $26.67 credit to your bill so you won't get charged for that by at t and all you need to do is pay your monthly uh, statement and you're good to go. So they will offer you insurance for the phone uh, for the purpose of this video, which is no, continue without insurance. And then you have accessory you can choose. Let's choose no. Let's see what the monthly pan are available. You have three. So you have the unlimited elite, the unlimited extra and the unlimited starter. They all have 5G coverage. So let's go with the basic, but if you need a little extra, just uh, select the other uh, two. They, the, the main difference is the hotspot per line. And also you have better unlimited text uh, talk data coverage. So you have premium data, so fast internet connection without slowing down up to 50 gig for the unlimited extra and then up to 100 gig for the premium data. What does that mean? It means that you get priority when the, the network is busy. Unlike the starter, if the network is busy, it will slow your, um, your, your cellular connection down. Your data will slow down. Unlike T-Mobile, uh, T-Mobile limit you to two or four gig and then it slows you down automatically. So at t if you're in a space where not a lot of people are using data, then you can still have fast data. So I would recommend at least getting the extra uh, for that extra 50 gig of premium data. So you have the full experience of the iPhone 12 at 5G, okay? And monthly due is roughly about $50 or so. If you, if you wanna get started with the starter kit, uh, it's $48. And at t also currently have a promotion for frontline workers, so any healthcare providers like doctors, physician, uh, nurses, um, any nurses actually, or EMT, uh, emergency response uh, personnel, they get, I believe, roughly 30% off the bill. And you call at t after you get the phone activated to let them know and you have to show them a proof of evidence that you're employed by them, whether that's your badge, your pay stub, or some sort of um, validation from your employer. In addition, if you're an AT&T existing customer for internet or TV or phone, if you bundle it with this uh, wireless connection, you get an additional $15 off. So technically, you can get this line as low as uh, in, in the $30 range, $20 to $30 range for a single line. And if you add more lines, the monthly, um, the monthly statement goes down. I think it goes down $5 per line uh, as you add on to it. Um, something to think about if you have a family. And that's it. You go to a cart and you pay nothing today for one line. And that, that tax is included for uh, the one-time charge. So you will have to pay that now uh, for the phone. And that is a one-time deal. Otherwise, hopefully you find this video helpful and enjoy your iPhone 12. Catch you on next time. Remember to subscribe.